Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to another show with the at the First Attachment channel here. So I'm Joe Miller, be your host today, and I have my co-host John Revis joining us. Mr. What's up, guys? Justin Harris is uh, celebrating his 20th wedding anniversary. He's busy so. tonight. He doesn't yeah, want to he's going to be a little busy. We, we want to give him that off. But it's kind of interesting because John is not only going to be a co-host with me tonight, uh, we got a really exciting action-packed Q&A for you. So we had a bunch of our listeners and uh, subscribers send us a message, uh, questions and things. And so John's going to knock those out. Um, but then we're also, I'm also going to kind of interview John a little bit because you may not know this, but uh, we'll get into it more in detail as we get rolling here. But he is a elite world record breaking power lifter um many times back, back in the day yeah. and uh now is also chasing his pro card in bodybuilding so i think he's got a pretty unique uh view on kind of both sides of sports yeah and all that good stuff but uh welcome john good to have you on what's going on joe glad to be here and uh I haven't talked to you in a while to, trying to get through the 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 mind fog of of prep so we're still in the sort of skinny fat phase where uh you're cutting the body fat down you're not super you're not full yet you're not super super lean but you, everyone goes through that it's like nine ten weeks out where you're not super lean but you know you're like am i gonna be ready am i not so so for those who don't know i mean talk about uh what show is the first one on the docket for you that you have coming up and this year what's what, what do we have, what do you have coming up here uh first one's going to be the arnold the arnold amateur so we did usa's um 2021 and uh we did our first show and then won that overall and and it was you know we went out to film with uh with jay jay color tv and um with with uh dave Berlay and then it went out I trained with uh chris cormier so we made a few rounds before USA's and it was just too long of a period, uh, too long of a gap between shows and we hadn't figured it out yet. So, man, that was like nine, 10 months of prep, sort of holding it, holding pattern and whatnot and pushing it. And so by and you, the time we get, go ahead. Mm -hmm. How long was your off season? I was going to say, but uh, this past year since the show, because yeah, as a show in the summertime, that show was in July. So, okay um by now it's been a year year and a half almost over a little over a year and a half um and so feeling feeling really good going into the arnold everything's responding crazy um so it should be good good deal well, let's take a yeah. look i just want this for the viewers out there just kind of give a little backstory we'll we'll backtrack together here but let me uh let me see here what are you pulling up oh god we'll take a look at some things uh, <laughs> all right so mm -hmm. this and i want to make sure i can uh sorry hold on one second here i forgot to click share audio because you got some cool people may not know this about john but not only does he has a, a study a business degree in economics and mm -hmm. business but also uh worked in it so he creates all of his own Mm -hmm. um you know instagram reels and stuff like that which is pretty creative but this th was this from the um oh, wow. i can pause the music there for yeah you. pause that from, uh this from the uh, uh usa's no that was the show before where we oh, felt okay. like we were you know we had that was the first show justin and i worked together um and we pretty much nailed it we we're probably a little bit off but we were pretty close um tighten up the glutes a little bit but we were pretty close to what we wanted um and we were like oh it's going to usa it's not gonna be a big deal but yeah that's four months in between where they just my body just collapsed so no worries this, we learned the same show right here that was the same show so we learned uh what to do what not to do and um so this was a national qualifier right here Is yeah that yeah wow. mm -hmm. now was that the cutler classic no, that was another. It was ran by the same guy, Kevin DeHaven, okay. but that was in the Southern Tournament of Champions. I think was the name of it. Okay, yeah, it was a fun show, really well ran. Um, it was good. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, look pretty crazy for a state state level. Yeah, yeah, or, it was. I should um, say for a qualifier, maybe it's a better way to phrase that. Yeah, it was. Uh, we felt good, you know, like we brought what we were supposed to bring. Um, 
needed to get a little bit bigger um, as a super. But, uh, you know, as a power lifter, you sort of sometimes wonder, like, man, do I have the shape? Do I have the structure and stuff like that? And thankfully I do. Um, so I have to thank my genetics for that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, sometimes that can be – I yeah, I do want to say, you know, people – who claim that, you know, heavy deads or heavy squats and like destroy your waist. It's not true at all. It's not true. It's literally not true. It's all about your genetics, your genetic structure and, um, you know, what you're working with. Yeah, I know. It's uh so a year and a half off. And then, um, what was your weight back in those, uh, uh, those shots? 230 on stage, 30, yeah. 232, something like that. And then at USA's, so this is a this is an example of what happened at USA's um, body was just it wasn't responding by the last couple of weeks and so we knew something was up and uh, so we tried to tried a few different tricks nothing was working I go to weigh in and I was pretty uh, if you go back to my page um, was this at photo. was this USA's yeah so and I'll explain that's like you know. People say, oh, it looks pretty good there. And like, mm, not what we could have brought. So if you go back out of that, go up, go up, 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 right there. This so one? The, that one, yep. So this was about a day before check-ins. Um, and I was 239, 240 there. And I weighed in at USA's in this condition, like peeled in 239. Um you know, so you can go, I think there's another photo in there. Uh, but that same post, that same post. Oh, you just, yeah. You just click on to the right of it. Yeah. So, you know, we were, that was depleted as hell. But um, <laughs> I was about 239, 240 there. And then we ate seven meals that day, plus a cheat meal. And I woke up the next day at 226. So I lost 14 pounds overnight after eating seven meals and uh you know that was one of those things that we just had to you know as soon as i woke up and i stepped on the scale and it was like 226 or something i was like i texted justin and i said uh not not this time i already knew something was up but yeah so then that was the result of it and uh it is what it is but, so you're in a super zone yeah yeah Got it. Mm-hmm. Well, now you'll you'll you'll, you'll be uh, not only kind of you know not as depleted, but you'll you got a year and a half of growth behind you, right? So yeah, yep, yep, yep. Any certain area you kind of worked on in the off season? Uh, yeah, just year? arms, uh, mostly arms and lower lats. Lower lats was really big, and uh, you know that was something that we really focused on, and uh, I think it's turning out pretty well. So I'm excited about that. Uh, we'll be able to show that in, in about nine weeks. Um, yeah. So this was those pictures of me being sort of fat. Uh, that was, I was guest posing at the Cutler. Um, and yeah, of course the internet's going to go wild and be like, Oh, why are you guest posing? You're so fat. Like, man, whatever, dude. Like, you know, I wanted to support the show and you know, I wouldn't like, I'm not making anyone pay me or anything like that. I just wanted to go out there, but this was, you know, sometimes in the off season, you got to, be putting on some weight so uh, yeah that's what we tried to tried to grow into so yeah gotcha that one that comparison is is uh, not that one but the one bef- the one below it this one yeah that one is right at right or it was before my show first show with justin and then this year yeah there's a so, lot of freaking thickness there that's a big difference. put some size on for sure yeah so. No, good a little deal. bit, yeah, a little bit leaner right now, but it's all good. Well, I wanted to find. Uh, I wanted to play this. Uh, let's see if I can uh, spot one. Yeah, hold on. We got to play that for the viewers out there. That's a pretty okay. badass video. I meant to. I meant to play it at the beginning. So let's. Uh, ah. I can turn down my volume a little bit here. See yeah, if that'll so help. Help not blow people out. But yeah, we'll have to check this one out. This is a pretty sweet one. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's work, man. I gotta redo it. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. This is Dorian. No, work. It's about sweat. It's not nice. You know, it's not shiny. It's not cosmetic. 
Let it work, man. So pause it right there. So if you see me walking out, that was an 804 squat. And that wasn't, honestly, that wasn't that crazy for me. Like I've repped 810 and, and all those things. But what happened at that meet was I was backstage. It was in, it was like the, the Mr. Tennessee meet. Um, and so what happened was I was warming up and I think my last warm up was like 700 pounds. And my first attempt, you get three attempts in powerlifting. My first opening attempt was like going to be 760, right? And so I'm like, okay, so I'm making a 90 pound jump or 60 pound jump for my last warm up. Should be easy. Well, I go out there, I wrap my knees. Um, I used to do all my wraps myself and stuff. So I walk out there, I squat it, and it was like paper. It was like nothing. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to squat 950 today. Well, it turns out the spotters weren't used to this is quote unquote what they told me. They weren't used to putting that many plates on at the state meet. So they didn't load up enough reds, right? Which are 25 uh -huh. kilo, right? So 55 pound plates. They were 110 pounds off. So instead of opening with 760, I opened with like 660, like less than what my last warm up was. Oh. And so my body, my CNS is, is prepped for like, oh, it's going to be light. So I go out there and I'm a little cocky. And I'm like, all right, 804, easy, next. And so you'll see me sort of shift and hit the racks and stuff because I was like, oh my God this feels like 9,000 pounds, but it was because I made a 140, 150 pound jump oh, in between yeah. attempts. That so, sucks. Yeah. If you make almost a 200 pound jump in between attempts, it's going to feel pretty heavy. So yeah, I was sort of like, oh, man, there's like, no special, this special routine, special diet, special that can get you out of the hard fucking work. Yeah. If you don't like hard work, then Perfect really do over. something else, man, because this is this is what it's about. For me, it was, was about a bench there. A challenge in myself. Right under 500, but I had a, a pulled pack. To push through that last rep to know where is your limit. It was more than just building the body. It was challenging my soul. Was, you know, it's challenging. This was a fun day. Yeah. And if it's not difficult, where's where's the challenge? If you challenge yourself and you overcome, then you feel good, man. You feel good, you know? Yeah, so that was a fun yeah, day with that squat. Um, my buddy Duranda, he's he's one of my closest friends. And uh, he was my training partner. And he was like, um, he knew that that day was, we had to do it that day. And so he, he would look at me, he'd be like, we got to work today. So as soon as I knew as he said that, I was like, all right, I got to put something on the bar. So that was fun. That was sort of like, the beginning moment before I broke world records and stuff where it was like, Oh cool. Like I can do this. Right. Like, cause you have, you have to have that confidence in yourself and um, you're like, all right, cool. I can do this. So, cause that was, you know, it, it beat like Ronnie's squat. Um, cause I was only wearing knee wraps and not a suit and stuff. So like, to me, that meant a lot. People can yeah. say whatever they want, but to me, that was like a point where it's like, Oh, this is cool. Cause everyone watched Ronnie's squats. Right, everyone watched the 800 for a double and whatnot, and he probably could have done way more. But yeah. Oh yeah, that is that's that's right. I forgot about that. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to me, that was like a, a big win. And during your powerlifting career, any any major uh, like injuries or anything during that time? Uh no. I was before I went the enhanced route. I was 100% natural. Um, I competed in the IPF USAPL. I was benching under 500, uh, like at like 22 years old naturally, and um, squatting mid sixes, deadlifting mid sevens, and uh, you know, so I already already had. I was like 240 also, so I already had the size and shape. Like I took the time and experience to learn how to train properly naturally and all that stuff. And uh, so by the time you know I went the more the enhanced route. You know, I wasn't too, I was beyond naturally, obviously, but it wasn't to the point that it was going to hurt me because I already had the strength and the tendon strength, the ligament strength built up from my natural lifting um, before I went that route. So nothing crazy. No, I, I thank the Lord I got out of that scot free. I wouldn't have been a good bodybuilder, not with torn muscles. Yeah, no, it's awesome. And then you, uh, so what, what specifically, just for those out there that might not know, um, what which world record was it that you 
broke? It was uh, at the time Dan Green had it. It was the total record, so all three lifts combined okay. uh, of the 242 class raw. So just like knee sleeves and all that stuff. So um, it was pretty cool because it was there for a while and no one touched it. Like everyone was like terrified. To, oh, it can't be broken. And then I went and did it. And then like after me, of course, like five or six other people went in and, and broke it. But, you know, sometimes you got to be the first one to stick your neck out there and, you know, and then after people see that, oh, it can be done. And then they get the confidence and, you know, they train harder and, you know, so I never really went for it again. After that, I was just sort of, I had achieved what I wanted to achieve and I got out injury free and I'm happy for it. Yeah. No, good yeah. deal. Yeah. And what, what did lead you to kind of change, uh, change over to bodybuilding? Like what was that? What kind of sparked that interest to transition over? I was getting beat up in training. Um, I was getting beat up in training because I was going to gun for the record one more time to take it back, but I was getting beat up. And so I was in Kroger and I called my buddy Duranda who was spotting me in that video. And I go, Hey man, Jay, you know, Jay Cutler show is going to be in town in like eight weeks. No, it was like 10 weeks out. And I'd never done bodybuilding. You know, I was like, I think I'm going to do it. And he was like, now he's supportive of me and everything, but I could tell. Is that you in the blue trunks? Yeah. 2017, you weighed 218. Yeah. 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 And so, um, I had, I had eight weeks with a coach. And so I pretty much prepped for that show in eight weeks. I went from nothing to prepping um, in pretty much eight weeks. So I worked with a guy named Curtis Bryant out of Richmond, Virginia. He was a pro, turned pro with Brandon Curry uh, in 08 at USA's and stuff. And um, yeah, this was eight weeks of dieting. I went from like a fat, slobby powerlifter to this. So um, let's go that your skin pulled in too. How old were you there? 26, 27. Yeah. Yes, I'm 32 now. Yeah, I'm I old. Understand. I'm an old man. Yeah, old my ass. But the thing is, <clears throat> I mean, the thing is, I'm pretty fresh in the sport. So right. my skin's tight and everything looks good, no injuries and uh, responding well. And, you know, I already had a muscular base from powerlifting and everything else. So, you know, I didn't really uh, go in with no experience. Yeah, in bodybuilding, but like in, in lifting weights, you know, I had experience and stuff. So it sort of clicked pretty fast. The crappy thing is in the off season, <coughs> excuse me, in the off season, it sort of sucks for me because I have to eat a lot of food. Yeah. I have a nat naturally fast thyroid. Um, so I sort of crank through food. Um, people say, oh, you know, prep must suck. Prep must be hard. Like, no, dude, when you're trying to force that food down, that's the hard part. Prep is easy because you don't have to eat that much, right? Yeah. Um, I think people underestimate like the off season, the growth phase. They think yeah. like, Oh, I eat a lot. I eat a lot. It's like, no, no, no. Like, no, you don't. You're literally ready to throw up and you got another meal of just massive it, mounds of rice and meat coming your way. And it's not, it's not bad food that tastes good. It's good food that tastes bad. And right. you know, it's like, right, oh, right, right. you know, <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, I can eat, dude, I could sit down and eat 12 cheeseburgers if I wanted to. Right. Right. I, I should not tell you, but when I was in community college, um, I was taking care of my grandpa for a year. So I went to community college instead of normal college. And I, I would go through after class, I was taking my gen eds. I would go through the drive through and uh, I went to McDonald's so much. I noticed when they adjusted the dollar menu cheeseburger to like a dollar 19. Like I, <laughs> I noticed the difference. I was like, hey, wait a minute. But I would get, I swear to God, I would probably get like three or four double cheeseburgers off the value menu, um, a parfait, a Big Mac, a large fry, um, a large drink, and like maybe a chicken sandwich with cheese on it. And I would eat that and then go to the gym. So I could eat so much food and barely gain weight. So um, obviously my diet got better as I got older. But, you know, the, the cool thing about that is, though, like when I'm prepping for a show, I really only need like eight weeks to get in shape even from like a full off season, I only need like eight weeks. So any longer than that, I start to get a little stringy. So yeah, good deal.